What's up, guys? John Hammond here, looking more at Pico CTF 2017 to intro into the Capture the Flag competitions uh, and learn a little bit of Linux and computer hacking and stuff like that. So this challenge that we've been looking at a little bit before, and we finally got our Linux virtual machine done, we finally got our SSH key connection to actually access the files on the server and their shell infrastructure. Now we can actually do this challenge, Leaf of the Forest. So we found an even bigger directory tree hiding a flag starting at this file location, it would be impossible to find the flag manually. Okay, well, let's head on over to our shell here and let us make a directory leaf of the forest. See leaf of the forest. Um, and let's actually, from that directory, we can dot dot to move up a directory and we can run our shell script to connect to the server. We don't even nearly need to be in this directory right now, but it's again, good practice to have that. Um, so let's change directory into that location. We can LS to see what we have here and it's just the forest. So let's, uh, if we wanted to LS tag A, but there's nothing else in here. So let's just move into the forest. Great, LS and whoa, we have a lot more directories or subfolders to look through than we had previously with the branch and trunk stuff that we did um, in Leaf of the Tree. So if we were to just choose one of these, tree like 0, 8, and then I hit tab to autocomplete, I can CD into that, LS again, but there are just more branches and trunks, and we would just keep <laughs> expending all these, and there, there's nothing we could particularly do. So what did, I wonder what are, the, what are the contents of these files. Let's check out leaf 6, 7, etc. Flag not here. Flag follows name flag, but it could be anywhere in this forest. Okay. So... Let's move up a few times to get back to the, okay, the top of the tree or whatever forest that we're in. And let's see what the hint says. Is there a search function in Linux? Like if I wanted to find something, huh? Okay, that alludes to that find command that I showed you guys a little bit previously in, in an earlier video, leaf of the tree. And we can check out that man page. It explains that the find command will search the directory tree rooted at each given file name by avowed in the given expression from left to right, according to the rules of precedence, until the outcome is known. So essentially it'll keep finding other files. So let's try and use that find command. Um, I actually had interesting results because the man page on my file system had another note that said this man page documents the new version of find uh, and it will search the directory tree rooted at the giving starting point, which is normally the first argument you pass to the command and explicitly tells you that at which point find will move on to the next file name. If there is no starting point, it will use the current directory or the period, right? So back in our shell here, we can just run simply find without any arguments or again using the period to denote our current directory and it will look through all of those uh, paths all those subfolders all those directories that we could have explored so you can see each individual tree being explored each individual trunk or branch being explored and if we wanted to we could look through this and explore okay where is the flag this is a little easier to work through because we can just simply scroll up or scroll down and eventually we'll find the flag I thought I saw it at the corner of my eye at the very bottom, just about. I see, yes, okay, tree 2763A4, etc. has this, which is the location of the flag. So we can copy that, control shift C, and then we can simply paste all that in and give it to cat. So cat will just output that on the command line, display the flag for us, and hit enter. Cool, we get a little bit of hex dump here. But you can note that that's just before my username in the prompt here, so this must be the flag. Let's go ahead and submit that and see if we got it right. And we did. Awesome. Cool. That was not that difficult. Good thing we got to kind of be pointing in the right direction with that find command. Good thing we were able to read the man page and explore a little bit. And it's just simple usage. But that is super powerful if you've got a lot of directory to search and you like don't know where to go. Find will kind of narrow down maybe some that you could be looking for. It's good to uh, use that to look for files or search like in Linux. 
Cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I want to give a special love and some shout out to the people that support me. This list is getting a little bit longer and I'm just really so grateful for it. Um, $1 a month on Patreon will give you a shout out at the end of every video just like this. Uh, $5 or more on month, a month will give you early access to the videos I record and put on YouTube. Normally I record in bulk, so the... If I if, if I'll let YouTube gradually upload them, but if you want the content right away, as soon as it's ready, uh, that's the way to do it. If you did like this video, please do leave a like, maybe leave me a comment if you're willing to subscribe, and if you really want to support me, check me out on Patreon. Thanks so much.